Hey guys, Shane's Play here, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Feed the Beast launcher console. Now, I know a lot of you on my um, tutorial videos actually um, asked me how to actually use the console. Most of you don't actually know what it's for, but um, I'm prepared to teach you how to use it. So, basically, your console is for all your errors, everything that goes wrong on your Feed the Beast launcher or, or in the actual game. It will tell you and um, how you use it you paste it into pastebin and then you ask admins or people that actually play feed the beast to help you um, I, I've actually used it myself um, because um, I've had a couple of problems with it they've actually uh, the people in the feed the beast chat have actually been really nice and they've helped me with my stuff um, so now hopefully I can get you to do that as well and get them to help you like they helped me um, so basically what you want to do you just want to open your launcher open the jar file or the exe file whatever you which one you have and then you don't want the actual launcher you want to get rid of that um, and you want to just have this console right here this is what i meant by the little gray box um i probably confused some of you or um some of you just didn't know what it was um so this is basically your console and um basically what you want to do if you have errors or anything it says minecraft error or your ftb um, launcher crashed, you want to go in here um, you can select um, what you want, you want debug version do you want the extended version or the minimal version I prefer the minimal version because it's <laughs> less, it shows less stuff but at the same time it's kind of it's not so crammed with information um, so do you just want the launch to show the launch or do you want just the Minecraft um, that will show you everything that goes wrong with your Minecraft e.g. if it crashes, if it freezes, if something doesn't load up properly it will show you all that stuff um, then what you want to do um, say for example you have an error um, loading your jar or you have an error with your feed the bead launcher actually crashing on you um, you want to go paste my log into the pastebin.com and you want to do yes do that all right, and then your browser will load up automatically. All right, and then when this happens, um, if it loads up, <laughs> okay, it'll take you to this website. All right, and then it will paste it into here, or you can paste it into here. All right, so just go Command V on Mac, Control V on um, Windows. And then you select which one it is. Um, I don't actually know what syntax is in, but um, you can just put a paste name. So I'll put Shreen M. That's my Minecraft name. Um, okay. And then you you want to log into one of these um, Facebook, Twitter, or Google. I'm not going to do that, obviously. Um, but basically, what we'll do it's like a forum. So you go in there, you paste all your stuff in there, and then someone eventually will answer you. They'll tell you what's wrong with it. They'll tell you which bit of the code you need to actually. Um, which bit of the code needs to be fixed or how you do fix that um, this is what you can do if your launcher doesn't work or if you have problems updating now I know a lot of Mac users have had problems updating me too, me included um, <laughs> I had to download mine so many times it's unbelievable they've just actually updated the launcher to a version 1.08 I think it is so there should be less crashing on there but still you know um, things change let's just close Chrome Okay, the second thing is join the support web chat. Now this is the easiest way to fix your problems. If you don't know coding, if you don't want to be bothered with errors, if you don't want to sign up to forums and stuff, go into the support web chat. That's the easiest thing to do. So you go join support web chat. It takes you to the uh, web chat um, website. Okay, so Iris. All right, it'll give you a name. Your nickname should be your Minecraft username, to be honest with you. And then put your password in. Connect to the um, web chat. Alright, and then it will give you all this. Now, um, basically, most I think it's mostly admins on here and people that naturally know um, tech it and stuff like that. So, you see, the people on this side, on the right hand side, are the people that are actually logged in now. Those are the people that you need to talk to. These people are either experiencing problems themselves or they're getting um, helping people with their problems. Um, so you can type in anything here. Um, so for example, let's just say my Feed the Beast launcher keeps crashing. Um, can anyone help me? And uh, basically, in a couple of minutes, or 
couple of seconds even, someone will reply to me saying, this is what you have to do, do, do these steps and this will help you. Um, this is basically like the quicker version of the forum. Um, as I said, there's mostly admins on here, so they will help you, they will know what to do. Um, so yeah, that's all I can say really, this is um, what you need to do in order to use your console effectively. And also, I advise you not to close your console while you're playing Feed the Beast, because if something goes wrong on your launcher and you close your console, you're not going to know what happened, and you're not going to know how to fix it. Um, so keep the console open. I know it's probably a bug, but if you have a Mac, just put it to another window, put it into another desktop window like I do. I normally have my Feed the Beast launcher here, like um, this, so I put my Feed the Beast launcher there. And I put my console desktop too, so I don't have to worry about it. It's always going to be the... Um, and it's the easiest way to track errors. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this has helped you. So uh, peace out.